desk gold ring in my pocket. Looking for a good time. Here we got it. We got it. <coughs> hey, this is Jamie uh, with sportsreds.com again. Uh, you know, episode, uh, the, our Gallia Gal Academy baseball episode last night. And then uh, today we've got uh, the, the head varsity soccer coach, uh, <laughs> Coach Camden, uh, assistant coach Dakota Metzler. And then we've got Keegan Daniels, Maddox Camden, and uh, Aiden. Is that – how you pronounce that last name, Aiden? I don't want to get it wrong. Uh, Retker. Okay. All right. Well, again, we appreciate all you guys coming on. Uh, we, uh, you know, this seems to be do doing real well getting these, getting these student athletes out. Uh, you know, it's 1207 right now and my two kids, they, uh, they enrolled in some fortnight class when this pandemic started. Uh, so they, they seem, it's like a fortnight all night. Uh, so they, they, they're on the computers and playstations. Uh, so I'm glad to see you three are out of bed, uh, you know, which my, you know, as I said, my two still are sleeping, but I'm sure they got, uh, you know, they got some kills and whatnot in last night. But uh, <laughs> uh, Coach Camden, uh, like we was talking about in, uh, you know, before we before we went live, uh, you're going to be a guest on here in the future. <laughs> uh, so we we could start talking stories about Little League Baseball and Little League tournaments and the uh, famous trip play. <laughs> uh, the trip play could probably be an episode in itself. Uh, probably. We would have to go through the dynamics and the sports science of it and everything. But it's yeah, right. So, but what we're going to do is we're going to stay out of that right now uh, for, the, <laughs> for the sake of these kids falling asleep on us. Uh, I, I know, I, I know, like I said, you know, I, I met you through youth baseball uh, and we, uh, you know, we've known each other for a while. We've coached together. We've coached against Oh, absolutely. Um, you know, always, uh, the, you know, uh, well, I, I mean, some of the first times coaching against you is pretty rough because you're pretty, uh, uh, what's the right word, entertaining, let's use, uh, and vocal. <laughs> the, the uh, no comments, <laughs> no comments. <laughs> <laughs> right. But, uh, but hey, listen, there, if, if there is a guy in, in the area, probably even in the state of Ohio, of Ohio that cares more about his local kids than you, I'd like to meet him. Uh, so with, with that being said, you know, we're on here to discuss the soccer program. I know you've, uh, you've been involved for the last several years. Uh, so go ahead and tell us a little bit about the, the soccer program at Gallia Academy. Um, I, I took over the program about three years ago. I want to say fall 2017. Uh, they just came off their first, uh, league win or le they won the league championship. I think, uh, Mr. Messler was part of that. Yep. Uh, I was on the staff. I uh, yeah, he was on the coaching staff. So I came in and uh, they graduated a mass, a mass graduation. So it was like JV, welcome to varsity real quick. So uh, that first year I took over, we won like one game, tied like four. And then last year we won eight. And then this past year we just had, uh, we set the school record in wins, 12 wins. We won the league. Uh, we second time ever. We we had tons of kids. Uh, Keegan was one of them. Uh, first team all district. Uh, first team all OVC. Uh, Maddox made an honorable mention in the second team all district. Um, had a great group of seniors this year. You had a couple. We had one of them one last night. Andrew Toller was on there. Uh, he's a he's a three sport athlete. He plays soccer, kicks for the football, and plays baseball. Uh, our team captain, um, Manny Valdez, uh, he come along, had a great year this year, come on good. Uh, uh, Luke, Sa uh, Luke Saunders, he came out the last few years, played outstanding, really found a role on defense, played a great job. Um, we we had, uh, I had one more senior, Ian Hill. Oh, how could I miss that? Ian Hill, who's going to the Naval Academy to school. Uh, that's a proud moment. That's pretty exciting for the program. Um, so our program has grown leaps and bounds. We have uh, the sophomore class that's just in there getting ready to be juniors. The freshman class coming up are two fairly big classes that have played soccer throughout their youth career. Uh, done a lot of traveling. I have a couple kids out of that group that are on the Olympic development team. Um, it's kind of a neat thing. Uh, 
Aiden's in one of those groups. And of course, Maddox and uh, Keegan are in those, those groups. Um, great group of kids. We're more of a family. We goof. Uh, you're talking about intensity. Yeah. Um, wait, I no, no way. Goof and you? No. <laughs> well, <laughs> we led Southeast Ohio in yellow cards in the last three years. So, uh, I mean, I'm just going to throw that out there. No, uh, Jeff, listen, I'm, I'm glad I forgot to ask a question leading into this. Uh, the, the one thing that, I, that I've got to know is watching you, you know, I, I said, use the word entertaining. Uh, but, it, you know, watching you coach basketball, watching you coach baseball, uh, and then knowing what I know about soccer, uh, it, it, I, I could definitely see you guys leading yellow cards. <laughs> <laughs> Aiden, you want to you wanna talk on that? <laughs> um, <laughs> He's our enforcer on the team. He does a great to, job. But I, but I can. Um, my it's not my intention to rack up the most yellow cards by any means, but um <laughs> I I don't know. I guess that's just I guess that's just some the way I play. Um He plays a nice I, physical game. He he's he is yeah, a he is. nice physical I'll, player. I'll, he doesn't I'll back down from anything. So Sure, and that's that down kind of the way I've always looked at coaching basketball, uh I mean, they they don't throw you out of the game until you get two technicals for a reason. I mean, you're, you're uh, supposed to get one. Well, I mean, when I first started out coaching, it was a to me, we had to be intimidating. So I wanted them to be physical. As we've went along, our skill has improved, and and Aiden's skill has improved. I mean, all of them. The whole team's skill, in a in a in a nutshell, has has soared through the roof. And uh, the physicality of it is nice to have it there. But now we can play. And now now we're able to play. And it's always nice to have an enforcer every now and then. Though you need to have a have that guy that marked that other guy on the other team just to let him know you're there. Ooh, that's so. me. That's me. That's me. <laughs> nah, you do a great job at everything you do, man. Don't don't just, <laughs> don't just sell yourself on the physicality. Or you do a great job. But uh, nice. De Deke and I, we we go hand in hand. Uh, he he's always pulling me back, and then the next thing I know, I'm <laughs> pulling him back, and we're running down the sidelines and we're, it's probably the most laid back thing I coach. Honestly, I get too <laughs> intense in basketball and I get too intense in baseball. And if I say that it's the most laid back thing, I'm still going over the top. Yeah. But if, if the soccer is the most laid back thing you coach, I, I don't even want to see baseball and basketball. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, coach Matchler, let's just say I have, but again, like I said, that's for another, another episode or we're definitely going to run out of time. <laughs> uh, Coach Batchelor, uh, I'll, I'll bring you in. The, the one thing I've noticed Coach Camden talking about, uh, you know, it sounds like you guys, a, a lot of your uh, your players, a lot of players were getting time that were freshmen and sophomores and then talking about the, the freshman class coming in. Uh, you know, it sounds like – you know, this league championship you guys are coming off of just kind of the tip of the iceberg. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's only up from here. We're only – we're at the top of the mountain, but we're only halfway up. If that makes any sense. I mean, we yes. got just a ladder to climb and just one step at a time. With the freshmen coming up, some of them could play varsity. Some of them could start right out playing varsity. And that's what you just have to expect coming into our program, that no matter what, like, if you're called to action – be ready to come and play. And I think everybody that comes in, even our sophomores, our juniors, even our seniors, they know what's expected out of them, or they oh, should by now. And they come in ready to play and ready to go at it again. All right. Hey, uh, Maddox, uh, when I seen you on there, I'd say, uh, I told you you look like you had, had a haircut since you was two, which I know you have <laughs> been, but it's been a while, it looks like. Uh, what well, I guess one question I'll ask you starting off. Uh, uh, you, I, I usually at some point in this make everyone give you some, give me some dirt on the coach, uh, but obviously you live with this one, uh, you know, and and he's coached you 
you know, <laughs> in baseball, in basketball. Uh, and I can I can mute him if you want me to, so he can't hear this answer. But <laughs> is he really that more laid back in soccer than he is the other two? Yeah. In baseball <laughs> and basketball, he gets like, I don't know, like more fired up. In soccer, he's just more chill and laid back. Uh, so that uh, coach, I've never seen him get I prompted him before game, he so. came on here. <laughs> <laughs> I figured. I actually figured you guys would be sitting side by side. <laughs> you could just grab him by the neck if you needed to. <laughs> uh, but uh, but Coach Camden, the one uh, you know talking uh, about your uh, you know your personality and uh, you know the way you've been involved in the youth programs in in Gallia Academy. Uh, you know, and it sounds like you were, when you were talking about earlier about the numbers coming up and you had kids playing youth, uh, youth sports, uh, youth soccer, uh, you know, with you. You had, you know, and I, I would assume that it's uh, Beckett and Logan that you're talking about that's in the, the Olympic thing that you're talking about. Well, actually, Keegan and Maddox right here are on the Olympic uh, development stuff. Okay. Keegan's actually went to the regionals and everything and Saginaw, Michigan to play and uh, – earn his spot for it. it it's it, it's pretty neat uh yeah Beckett and Logan were on there as well but uh from the standpoint they're still a few years down they're just now going to be coming into junior high so uh we have a great coach down there in the junior high with uh coach Burleson uh, does a great job with the kids uh real real laid back guy the kids really enjoy him so uh it's nice to have the step ups through you know and having Dakota uh, he works with the youth as well. Um, he works with our recreation youth and everything. It, it's nice because, you know, our youth system coming up, but our kids have had a lot of the, uh, you're either a rec, been in the rec league or you've had like uh, Tony Daniels down here at the University of Rye Grand uh, that's in the, that's been uh, with the men and the women's program. Uh, you've had, um, other mass other ones, Brett Will that's brought kids up through that's traveled outside of outside of Gallia County um, that has seen a little bit of um, what what could be, and then you mix some rec players. There's some great rec players out there that come into the program, and within a, a, a year or so, they're right in the mix that uh, they had great training with great coaches as well. So uh, finding that gel and that mix and making it where they keep growth throughout the years is the biggest thing. So uh, we want our program to sustain. We don't want to not be the OVC champions. That's our thing. We, we are, we're, we're want OVC champions from the time that Dakota and I are here coaching. That's, that's our, that's how we feel. So. Absolutely. Right. And, uh, you know, so I, I'll go into uh, Keegan, uh, which I, I think we may have lost his, well, there he is. Uh, Keegan, uh, you know, coach was talking about, uh, you know, the the playing outside of rec and outside of schools. Uh, you know, what what does it seem like you get you get out of that and, and you know take from that to to be able to become the best soccer player at that Gallia Academy? Um, usually just like experience. You know, just getting to see different styles of playing and trying to build my style of playing onto. Uh, there's other different styles of playing, so it's kind of experience, faster speed of play, just different competition to get better game. All right, and uh, and Aiden, you uh, you know, we were kind of kind of joking, you know, about you being the yeah. being the enforcer earlier. Um, and, and uh, you know, so just talk, tell me a little bit about what uh, you know, you guys as a, as a team with Coach Camden and Coach Matzler leading you, and it sounded like they got things headed in the right direction, uh, you know, kind of what, what you expect to do over the next couple of years. Uh, well, I mean, I, I mean, I expect, I mean, now I'm, I'm a really, I'm a defensive player. So I think when somebody asked me that question, I think a lot about how the defense is going to be molded over the next two years while I'm here. Um, but at the moment we have a really strong, uh, defense and I think as over the next two years especially um, we're probably going to have one of if not the strongest in the uh, in the league or southeastern Ohio in my opinion um, but 
aside from that, I think uh, us being together as in where the team, the people on the team now um, being together over the next two years um, and then having our freshmen, freshman classes come up, um, I think we're going to be a really strong, really great team. Um, I think I think we can continually move on um, and win more and more and more games, uh, even outside of the league districts and sectionals and things like that um, over the next few years. I mean, I think I think we could really go far over the next couple of years and even after that. All right, that sounds good. Uh, bring bring Maddox back in. Um, Maddox, uh, kind, of, kind, of the, kind of the same question, uh, you know, as far as, uh, you know, you, you are, correct me if I'm wrong, you're a sophomore at the moment? Yeah. Okay. So you got you got a couple of years left uh, you know, to you know to do what you're going to do at the at the high school level. Uh, you know, kind of what are some individual expectations for yourself and you know as well as the team goals? Uh, I expect every year from the team an OVC championship. Uh, I expect that we can make it to the districts, regionals, if not maybe state. That's the goal. <laughs> Um, my personal goal is I'd like to score more goals every year. I think this year I had eight. I'd like to score 10 next year, then the year after that, 12, 15, and then the year after that, senior year, 20. So I can build more goals every year. Um, I'd like to get more assists and help my team win in any way possible. Uh, Keegan? Uh, we'll bring you back in, then we'll get back to Coach Camden. Uh, get, kind of, uh, you know, get, go ahead and discuss, like, your role with the team, uh, you know, as far as, you know, you three guys being leaders, uh, you know, kind of mentoring these younger kids that are coming up, uh, and just kind of give me your perspective on, uh, on, you know, what you expect over the next couple of years. Um, same thing as Maddox. I just want to see us go further outside of the league. And, uh, want to keep um, scoring goals, you know, assist, same thing. I also want to see the um, other people get better. The freshmen, all the freshmen coming up, I want to see them progress and advance so we have a better team, like building off those different classes. And uh, maybe one year me and Maddox can land on all state. So just pushing towards that final goal of hitting that state level. So. Gotcha. Yeah, and it sounds like uh... – yeah, even though we got some uh, some younger kids on here, it sounds like that uh, they sound pretty experienced. And it sounds like it's a pretty exciting time, uh, you know, in the soccer program, especially coming up and with what you guys got you know, coming at the younger ages. Uh, Co Coach Metzler, uh, I'll kind of put you on the spot too. You've uh, you've been with Coach Camden uh, for since Coach Camden's been there, or have you just been there a couple? Well, I got there the year after, I believe, that he was his first year. So, he actually – I um, I coached Beckett at hard work camp at University of Rio Grande. And he, Corey approached me after the camp was over. He was like, what are you – like, asking me what I'm doing here and stuff like that. And I was like, well, I go to Rio Grande now. He's like, what do you want? Do you want a coaching job with soccer? And I was like – yeah, actually, I do. Yeah, <laughs> let me get let's change. Hey, good looking guys flock together. That's the thing. We try to <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what it is. But I mean, he came up to me and offered a job. And, I mean, it's that's the way it's been since. So let, let me and I'll ask you one more question that uh, I tried to figure this question out this morning and I couldn't. And it, this may be one of the toughest ones I've asked so far on these podcasts. Um, you know, when I was uh, when I was giving a little bit of thought of how to introduce Coach Camden, uh, you know, in 45 seconds or a minute, uh, <laughs> I I came up with the decision that it's absolutely impossible. Uh, but uh, go go ahead and you know if you got uh, you know th this eighth graders coming in to be freshmen, which I, I know probably 80 percent of them already know Coach Camden because everyone, even Walmart readers and guys, kind of knows Coach Camden. Uh, but uh, what would you – how could you describe uh, Coach in, you know, like I said, in 45, 45 seconds a minute, you know, to tell incoming freshmen? 
I mean, it, it, it's got to be over a minute. I don't think I can do it under a minute. I mean, I can try. <laughs> but, I mean, it just, like, get ready to work because the man's passionate. The man loves what he does and everything he does. He's going to put 100% effort into it. And if he gets a little too crazy, Coach Metzler comes in, drags him back in. If I get a little too crazy, he drags me back in, too. So, it's a, it's a two-headed, two-headed dragon. That's what we got going on down there. But, I mean, just get ready to work. He's going to work you. He's going to make you. He's going to make you better by making you work harder. And I mean, he love you either way. He's going to treat you, treat you like a son, treat you like a brother. I mean, Corey's got it all, man. Corey's got it all. I mean, I can't. Nothing bad, nothing bad. But I mean, you know, sometimes we all we all get a little hot headed, but. It's not <laughs> <a little bit. laughs> hey, I will tell you, we we didn't really bring this up, but uh, Aiden was talking about. Um, working and stuff like that i'm telling you those kids put a lot of work in when the off season yes. they're either at chillicothe playing indoor uh at triple crown or they're in waverly playing and it can be different groups of them. it it may be 10 of them this way and 10 of them the other way mm -hmm. and then in the in the spring they start getting indoor going that's what we're missing right now we we have an enclosed upper gym at the high school and we're allowed to have open fields. Well, when it's rainy, it's that they like to play the indoor game because it's fast. It makes you quick. It makes you think. Uh, we're missing out on that. That's where the the it's kind of rough right right now with everything going on. But these kids put the work in. I I, I put it out there. It's up to them to check in. And you know what? They they don't seem to disappoint. Aiden was at was at Waverly and Triple Crown, and he has played indoor for the last. I, I want to say all through his junior high and, and now high school. You know, he's also a track guy. I mean, he's nonstop putting in work to get better. Same with Keegan. I mean, even during Keegan and Maddox during this time with the corona, they're out doing stuff. They're out mm -hmm. somewhere working on working on their master craft. I mean, these, that, these are fun kids to have because they love putting in the work. So, and they oh, know I, they'll see oh. results. I'll add something to that. I mean, I'll have Aiden will message me and like, hey, like, can you send me some stuff to work out on? Like, what do I need to do to get better? And not even just him, Keegan, Maddox, sometimes will message, reach out to me and like, hey, how's it going? And, you know, like, hey, like, what do you think I need to work on? Even though Max lives with the head coach and he still texts me. So, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, all the players, I mean, they'll, they'll reach out to me or me or Corey be like, hey, like, can you shoot me a workout? Can you give me something to do? Like, I need to, I know we need to work that way we can go farther. And I mean, that's what these kids, I mean, I'm, I've never seen anything like it. I mean, I, I worked hard in high school when I was playing soccer and stuff like that, but nowhere near to the limit that these kids do throughout every single day, no matter what, I mean, they're trying to improve and improve and you got to honor that. And the thing is they don't realize you see them putting that work in. I, I mean, and they, you're noticeable, you're noticing them getting better. We have a young man that has worked on the indoor and he has gotten immensely better. I mean, it, it, we're sitting there looking at him and he's like 6'2". It's like, oh my gosh, man, not only is he big, now he's, he's putting goals in, he's working hard. I mean, that's the stuff you're looking at. How do we get that into the system? How do we figure, how do we start working that in? And the off season is important. I mean, that's what people don't realize. I mean, you don't just pick the ball up August 1st and go, all right, let's go. So, or you'll probably be sitting over there August 1st. That's the, that's the problem. So. Well, uh, Coach, I'll, I'll get back to you, Coach Camden. Uh, when, uh, when I heard that you took over the soccer program, uh, the, one, the one thing that, uh, which you guys kind of, you know, sort of just, had, you know, touched on it, uh, Every every team I've ever seen you coach, uh, kids are you know kids are smiling, kids are laughing. Uh, you can you know rip someone's butt, and then and you know it seems like twenty seconds later you got you know you two you and the and the kid are laughing about it. Or uh, uh, but back one other thing back on Coach Metzler's uh, point about grabbing a hold of Coach Camden when he's needed it. I think <laughs> I had a hold of his shoulder a time or two. If I <laughs> Uh, but, uh, but as far as, uh, you know, a lot of people talk about, uh, old school coaches, uh, can't, can't make it in today's world with, 
with the kids and with the parents the way they all way they are. I don't personally think that is incorrect. I, I think that it's just a lot. You know, a, a lot of people don't aren't able to have that touch of being able to be hard on the kid, but then also have the relationship with the kid. You know, almost like your own. Yet, you know, that, like a couple of baseball coaches we've had on. You know, saying that. You know, they they love their seniors and. Uh, you know, it, it, it it's a, uh, to find that happy medium, I think is tough. Uh, so, I, you know, one, I guess I, I just wanted, you know, as far as your coaching, let's, let's call it personality, uh, seems uh -huh. to work very well, uh, as far as you being able to get the most out of kids by being hard on them, but also by having the time of your guys' lives together. Uh, yes. so I, I guess my question would be, you know, what, what do you feel like your qualities are that makes you to be able to do that? You know, probably as well as anybody that I know of in the area. Uh, I don't know. I mean, being a teacher is a big thing. I have to get things out of students all the time, you know, and, and teaching kids with special needs. And you're always, you're always trying to find that thing to catch them. You know, and it's like, like when I'm coaching, it's the same thing. I'm passionate about it. You know, I had in soccer, something that was totally different for me. I had the Rich Corbin philosophy that if somebody's, if we're not practicing, somebody's practicing. And you can't have that in soccer. Soccer is a whole different ball game. It's got to have a rest period. You've got to know what's going on. When, when you start relating to the players, because they would come up and they're like, we're tired. We're done. We need a break. And you get to that point, you're like, no, 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 we got to go. And then somebody like Metzler comes in and says, hey, man, hey, such and such legs are dead, man. You've got to, you get, when you start real, realizing that, and then as the years have went on, uh, yeah, I like, I'll rip a kid, but I'll, like you said, I'll put my arm around him. Um, kids work hard, we'll find you something. Uh, they know that. They know where they stand with us. Um, they feel comfortable enough to come up and ask us what do we need to work on, just like uh, Text and Metzler. Th this is not – we don't get paid enough. Metzler, uh, <laughs> he, he, he doesn't get paid anything. But, uh, <laughs> but at the same time, they're, they're comfortable enough to ask us questions. Uh, we want to be open. We want to be transparent. Um, you can see the separation in practice. Uh, you can see the leaders in practice. Um, you know, it, it's one of those situations, and you got to coach them hard, or you're not going to get the results you want. If you come out and it's fluff, then you're going to get fluff on the field. If we come out and coach hard, we can always throttle mm -hmm. back, but you can't start out light and then try to go hard. So we we always come out and try. I, I'm always trying to be rough and Dakota. Hey, buddy. Hey, guys. He's around the guy and stuff. <laughs> and then I come out. He can say, "You really need to talk to such and such." All right. Hey, man. I, I overstepped. I need to. I need to go back. It, it is a check and balance. I mean, kids. You know, hey, you know what it's like to coach your own kid. You want to. I mean, it, it's it's a scenario. Keegan's like my own kid. Aiden's like my own kid. I think of how it feels, and I have to watch myself because I, nobody is. Uh, no, nobody's out of bounds for me. You know, it's nothing for me to pull Aiden in and say, "Hey, don't listen to me." You know, but that's life. But then the next thing, he's making a, a tackle to save a goal, and all of us are standing up on the bench. That's what I'm talking about. I mean, it's just if they know you're there for them and the passion's there for them, they're going to play, and they're going to enjoy it. And they only have four years. Some of them's not going to college. Majority of them's not going to college. So do you want to make it the best four years of their life where they can come in and enjoy and you try to get the ones in you can get in and, and they aren't, or do you want to just, Hey, let's, let's just blow everybody away. And we don't care if anybody gets in the game, we'll play the same guys all the time. That's not fun. We're wanting people to develop. We're wanting the game to be fun. And uh, it, it, we do, we have a lot of fun. Dakota and I'll jump in there. The kids will make fun of us. It's all right. I can live with it. You know, we pull something. We're, we're, I, I'm terrible. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm, I'm terrible. I'm old and fat. I'm terrible. But the kids like it when they see you jump in and do stuff with them, and they enjoy it. 
uh, you know, a good laugh every now and then. You got to have it. We, yeah. we like to we like to hang out. We like to go eat dinner together. We like to go over to one of the kids' house and play video games for a day. We we like to spend time with each other, and the kids feed off that. If if you're willing to, if you're willing to hang together, you'll play together as a family. You know, if you got a separation, you're playing for yourself. You're not playing for the team. You're worried about your stats more than the team's goals. And that, I think that's what we, we project the whole time, team goals. What are we, we want you to have individual goals, but not at the sacrifice of the team to get you. Does that make sense? I mean, I'm not trying to. Yeah, I mean, to me, absolutely. Yeah, you know, it makes sense. Uh, and, you know, we've got, uh, we've got about four minutes left. So, and you actually – Timed in on, uh, you know, having fun perfectly for me. Led me right into this. Uh, it was like we meant for it to happen. Maddox, I'm going to be easy on you in this situation. Uh, right. I'm going to ask you a dirt story on Coach Metzler instead of asking it on Coach Camden. That way <laughs> nothing bad happens to you the rest of the day. Uh, <laughs> funny, funny story on Coach Metzler. Best one you got. On uh, Deke, oh, has to be when he wore the, the messy shirt. <laughs> I knew that. <laughs> I, knew I knew it. I knew it. That's where it was going. Has to be when he wore yeah. the lean on messy shirt and came out and played with us. And everyone was making fun of him. That was, that was a good day. <laughs> what, what was my nickname? What was my nickname for the rest Chubby of the day? Messy. Chubby Messy. Chubby Messy. Chubby Messy. All right. Uh, hey, Keith. Uh, now we'll turn to Coach Camden. Uh, Funniest story you got on Coach Camden? Oh, man. Uh, I know oh. there's a bunch. <laughs> Kick has been I'm with me a long think. time. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to think of one of the best ones. Oh, man. Um, when you started playing with us in practice, um, you have played on my team, and we passed the ball to him and went right under his foot, and the other team went and scored, and that was the end of practice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so nice. <laughs> Because it was it was it was a long game. It was like a long like forty minute. Like it was a hot day. It was like a scrimmage, right? But you know we get really competitive in the scrimmages. And then he jumped in because someone got hurt or got tired. I can't remember. But yeah, let the ball go under his foot and they went. And I was deking the pass, man. Come on, <laughs> uh, Aiden. What you got? Oh man. Um... I think there was probably the funniest thing I remember him doing was um, there was one instance where we last, I can't remember if it was the last season or the season before, but um, our locker room, we got uh, some kid got his money stolen out of our locker room. Oh, and, yes. Uh, we were <laughs> this season. We, uh, we were all kind of like freaking out because we didn't really know what to do. So we, um, started like making fun of the guy kind of that like uh came in our locker room and was looking around and everything and he started like making fun of him with us and stuff like that and that was, that was, <laughs> it, was it was cool we were all like yelling nice. and jumping around and <laughs> it was it was, just, it was really no a guy literally come in our locker room while we were practicing on the practice field and stole some money out of the kids stuff so we were – well, first of all, they didn't say the kids run off the practice field and chased him down the street. They didn't say that. But, uh. They also didn't say Coach Messler got in the car and got a bunch of kids in the window and chased him. <laughs> was that the day you had the Messler time. on or not? Hmm? Was that the day Coach Metzler had the uh, the jersey on or not? <laughs> no, that was the Saturday. No. Not that day. day. <laughs> Uh, all right, guys, we've uh, we're kind of running out of time here. Uh, I, you know, again, want to thank uh, thank all you guys for being on. Uh, you know, Keegan, Aiden, Maddox. Uh, you know, wish you the best the next coming year or next couple of years. Uh, thank you, thank you. You know, thank you. Coach Metzler and Coach Camden. It seems like you guys, uh, you know, got uh, got something got something going on down there. So, oh yeah, from top to bottom, from. The seniors who are, are stepping out this year to the incoming freshmen, we're excited. We're excited for those guys, excited for the guys coming in, excited that the guys are going to college, the older guys are going to do stuff. 
um, and all the guys in between. You had one of them last night on your show, Colton Rowe. Uh, I mean, we've got guys that are multi-sport athletes, and that makes it a blast to play with, man. They're competitive, even in mm. practice. Mm. Nobody wants to lose in practice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly. Coach Ian and I will uh, – I'll get with you uh, – so we can talk some youth baseball in the in the next couple of weeks. Uh, but again, I appreciate all you guys for coming on. Uh, you know, this will be posted, like I said, on YouTube and on our Facebook page uh, later today. Uh, you know, hope all you guys have a good good rest of the day, good week, good week, good summer, and uh, you know, I'll talk to you guys soon. Hey, thank you very much, right, man. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Absolutely. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Right, no problem. up on the alpines i've got that skull ring in my pocket looking for a good time here we got it. we got